there, this is Stacy Phillips and this is my video log for Tuesday, January 21st, 2014. Um, yesterday I wrote a blog that I wanted to just expound on a little bit today uh, on video for those who subscribe to my, my video channel but maybe don't get my blogs or don't subscribe to my um, blogspot.com blog um, about deciding who it is that we want to be and then becoming that person. Um, I know in my own journey back in July of 2010, um, I really had to stop as a morbidly obese person. Actually, I was super obese, which is higher than morbidly obese. I never understood that, but I guess super is class four and morbid is class three. Um, so I was super obese um, individual, and I had to um, really come to terms with the fact that I was not um, living the life that I wanted to live. I was not the person that I had hoped that I would be. You know, as a little girl, you think about your future and you think about um, the life you want to live and you have all sorts of hopes and dreams. And I looked at my life and I looked at myself and I said, you know, I, I had ended up really, really honestly kind of being a big disappointment to myself. And that's, that's no good. You know, who needs that? Um, and so, you know, when I, when I began this, this final journey here to, to, to towards health, when I made a fundal de fundamental decision toward health, um, I really looked at who it is that I wanted to be. You know, Epictetus is one of my favorite philosophers. And one of his quotes is, um, first, say what it is you would be, then do what you need to do, or do what you have to do. I forget how he terms it, but it really is simple. It's, it's really cerebral as well. It's a rational, um, you know, taking stock of who I want to be and then doing what I need to do to get there. It really is a lot like the structural tension charts that we work with uh, in the challenge, in the 12-week challenge and the health transformation that, that I'm in. It really is deciding who, what you want as a goal taking an honest assessment of your current reality and then listing the action steps necessary to get you where you want. That's really it in a nutshell, but it's regarding, it was regarding my identity. Who, who, who did I want to be? And once I had a, a clear vision, maybe, maybe not of who I could be because, I, you know, sometimes when you're overweight for so long and obese for so long, you know, you've kind of lost a little hope in yourself but you know somebody maybe who has done that, who is, you know, sort of the picture or, or, or has done what you want to do. And so for me, um, I really adopted in, in, in my mind kind of my, my, my heroes, you know, my inspirations um, of, for people who had accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. They had really the life that I could see myself in someday. And... Um, but what did they do to get there? So um, I studied that and within the context of our health plan, um, I, I had the tools necessary to get there. So really, um, it was, it was uh, what, uh, what's been termed identity-based um, behavior change um, and it really was deciding, really that key for me was deciding who it is I wanted to be and what would that person do? So way back in July 2010, I've had, I've had a, quite a journey, I have to say, but way back in July 2010, I made the fundamental decision that I wanted to be a fit and healthy person, um, both mind and body. I wanted to be a fit and a healthy person. And so I had to decide, uh, you know, well, what, what do hit, fit and healthy people do? And then I started doing those things. Um, and for me, you know, that the plan that, that we have that I'm a health coach for absolutely gave me all of the tools necessary um, to make my dream of who I wanted to be come true um, just by following it. Like, it's that simple. Um, but I had to decide on a daily basis um, that my health was important. And, you know, how that looks like in, in sort of a day-to-day -day setting is, you know, times when we might lose our focus, what would a fit and healthy person do? And that's a question that I ask myself, you know, to this day. And I happen to be working on being fit and healthy because for me it's a journey. It's never, I've never arrived. There's always a new um, summit to climb. But, um, 
you know, more and more so it's become, well, what would I do? You know, now I just, well, okay, I am a fit and healthy person, so what would I do in this situation? Um, but let's say you're at a restaurant and, uh, you know, you, you, you think, well, what, there's so many things on the menu, what should I order? You know, sometimes our default is to think, ah, oh, look at all these things on the menu. I wish I could have them. Oh, my goodness, I have to have a salad. I have to have steamed vegetables. And we get all Eeyore about our journey. And, you know, it's so unnecessary for us to do that because it puts a damper on our own, you know, goals. It minimizes our goals. We, we For me, I wanted to be excited about where I was going. So I, I thought, well, what would a fit and healthy person order? Because I'm going to order that. So, you know, the waiter would come around and, oh, I'll take the, uh, I'll take the grilled chicken breast and instead of those mashed potatoes, could I have a double serving, like a two, like a two order, uh, substitute steamed vegetables for, for that, those potatoes. And we really don't need the bread basket at this table, just FYI. So, you know, that's what a fit and healthy person would do. Um, we get it in our minds that, oh, well, that's what a dieter would do. You know, no. In my mind, that's what a fit and healthy person, that's how they eat, that's their food, you know, so that became my food. Um, I didn't feel it, it was a restriction to be on an eating plan. Fit and healthy people are on eating plans all the time. Look at Olympic athletes, you know, elite athletes. They're always subject to their own by choice eating plan that will give them the optimum performance that they require of themselves and of their training program. So. I started viewing myself in that light, that I was a fit and healthy person on the inside, and I was making choices every day that a fit and healthy person would make, and therefore my outsides, you know, that your outsides do eventually catch up with your insides. That's why if we have all this negative self-chatter and all this, um, you know, getting down on ourselves and being hard on ourselves, you know, we're, we're going to get run down on the outside too. Um, so for me, it was just a matter of really saying, who do I want to be? And what, what does that person do? What would that person do today? What would that person decide today? And then doing and deciding those things. You know, another thing would be, you know, if you're at a party and um, the food table's over there and everybody's milling around and they've all got their little fattening, uh, you know, blob in a blanket things and their martinis. And I'm not saying blob in a blanket and martinis are bad. You know, there's no... There's no good or bad. There's, there's, it's morally neutral. It's will eating and drinking these things take me closer to where I said I wanted to go or farther from it. So to me, it's a timeline. It's, a, it's morally neutral. Eating something fattening or drinking alcohol doesn't make me a bad person. It just means that I've chosen to not get closer to my health goals or what I said I wanted at that particular point in time, um, which I try and do not very often <laughs> um, because it does not serve my purpose. So... Anyway, so you're at a party and the appetizers are going around and, you know, you have two choices. You can either feel, start to feel awkward and self-conscious because you're, you're not eating that stuff. Um, or you can think, well, what would a fit and healthy person do? Well, if there was nothing here that fit, you know, say, say I had food restrictions, like self-imposed food restrictions, like I was a raw food enthusiast or I was, um, you know, strictly paleo or I was a vegan you know, or I only ate organic, you know, all these value decisions um, that people make and they, you know, all of their food choices fall into the hierarchy of what serves that fundamental choice. And for them, they would walk into the party and go, oh, you know, nothing's organic. I'm not sure anything's organic, so I'm just not going to eat it. And they'd be fine with that. Um, you know, a raw food enthusiast would say, oh, everything's cooked. It doesn't really suit my, uh, my, my higher value system. So they'd be, you know, going without eating the appetizers and, you know, an alcoholic who would go into the party, they'd be fine without having their martini. You know, all these people, they make value decisions. They make, they make judgments about what they're going to eat and drink based on a higher decision that they've already made. And what, what I'm saying is, why do we look at ourselves as any different? Or why do we classify ourselves as, well, I'm on a diet? Because I tell you, once you tell somebody you're on a diet or that you can't have something, get ready to rumble. I mean, they're, they're gonna like, I mean, they want to make sure you have a good time, but now it's a challenge. Now you've like thrown the gauntlet down. They, they want to see how dedicated you are to this diet. Uh, and so, you know, that, that to me, that's an invitation to, to trouble. So, um, 
you know, the things that I say to people at parties, that if they say, oh, aren't you going to have something? I, oh, no, thanks. You know, I'm, I'm, I've already, I've already had my big meal today. Or, um, I just ate. Or, I'm not really hungry right now. I mean, all those things, depending on what's true at the moment, <laughs> is, is the phrase that I use. And if I don't make it a big deal, they don't make it a big deal. Um, in fact, I just change the subject and ask them a question following my response and boom, done. Um, so, you know, generally at parties, people are more concerned with what they have on their plates or what they're eating or drinking. And they want to know you're having a good time. So, you know, for me, I don't put on an Eeyore face of deprivation and draw attention to myself of poor me. I can't have that. You know, like I don't, I, that's not what I'm thinking. So I don't project it either. So... Um, yeah, those are things, just some tips, I guess, on, on how, you know, how to become the person that you want to be and, and what that looks like on a sort of a day-to-day decision-making tree of, you know, hierarchy tree of, 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 of how to make those kinds of decisions. And, you know, for me with my, with my activity level and my running and things, you know, for some days I don't feel like getting on my running shoes and going out for my run. I think, well, what would a fit and healthy person do? they go for their run, regardless of whether they felt like it or not, because feeling really doesn't have anything to do with it. Um, you know, I was an emotional eater. I'm not going to be an emotional, you know, exerciser. and I'm just going to do it. And so I'd go do it. So, yeah, I just challenge you to really decide who it is that you would be, as Epictetus says. Um, first, say who, what it is you would be, then do what you have to do. Done. So simple. Didn't say it was easy, but it is simple. So, and the concept is really can be, can be um, applied universally in whatever pursuit you have. So I encourage you again to um, reach for, reach for the stars, reach for your dreams, um, decide who you want to be and be that person. Um, if uh, I am a free health coach uh, and if you want to, me to help you on your journey, please um, email me at stacymichellephillips at gmail.com. That's S-T-A-C-Y-M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E-P-H-I-L-L-I-P-S all one word, at gmail.com, and I'd be happy to uh, help get you on the path to optimal health. Um, just as a side note, if you do already have a health coach or ever have had a health coach, please reconnect with them. They would be very happy to assist you on your journey, as I do only take new clients. Thanks so much. Have a great day.